Welcome you gorgeous growers. My name's Graham and this is Where Graham Grows, my humble vegetable garden in Warwickshire in the UK. Today's an exciting and very exotic video as we'll be transplanting some tricolour Jamaican Callaloo seedlings into my allotment plot. <laughs> The story starts 10 days ago in my greenhouse. So without further ado, let's dig in, if you pardon the pun. tricolored Jamaican callaloo seeds to germinate it was really easy. All I did was get some cheap compost, sprinkle them in, make sure they stayed moist. And about 10 days later, look how strong these are looking now. Never grown these before. It's quite exciting actually. So I can't wait to get these in the ground. I've never even heard of it. It's like some sort of spinach with a unique flavour of some description. I just like the look of them. I don't think it matters to be honest where you plant your callaloo seeds. I've put them in that raised bed on my allotment plot. It will be in full sun and the raised bed is full of soil, a little bit of manure and a bit of compost in there as well. Six to eight weeks it takes before you can start taking pickings of your callaloos. I'm expecting sort of mid to end of September I should be able to get some good pickings of these. So get them in the ground, come on. I've been reading, you know, that these things can grow quite big, but I also read that they don't mind overcrowding either. So I think I'm just going to go for broke in this raised bed and just plant as many as possible. Let me trusty dabber and let's dab some holes in. And I think I'm going to go about that far apart from each other. I think he's supposed to plant them a bit further apart, but as per usual, I germinated way too many. So we'll just see how much we can get in this raised bed. I'm trying to take care when transplanting these, not to damage any of the root systems if you can. Honestly, look how gorgeous those look. Get a couple of these in, just so that I know what I'm doing. Having escaped the real world in my vegetable garden, I'm now going to spend some time, relax and just switch off and just plant the rest of these callaloo seeds into this raised bed. So let's do that, shall we? Just thought I'd stop you halfway through watching me grow these beautiful callaloo seeds. And just to, just to say that if you haven't already done so, definitely consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell because this video is the first of a two-parter with these callaloo. The first being growing them here and putting them in the ground. And the second video, which will come probably around about mid-September when these are ready, I'll share me harvesting the callaloo. I'll talk about any challenges and any observations that I've had while growing them. And I'll also include some recipes of what to do with this callaloo because I'm a little bit new to it myself. Let's finish off getting these in the ground anyway, so let's go, come on. <laughs> So there we have it, filled my raised bed full of Jamaican tricolored callaloo. Take a look. Funny really, because at first what I did was I started doing everything really uniform and having them all lined up nicely. And then after a while, I just thought, oh, sod it. And I've just put them everywhere and anywhere just to completely fill up the bed. I know you probably can't see them very well. The camera's probably not doing them justice, but honestly, they look absolutely beautiful. Probably something else worth noting as well. Yeah, I mean, you never want to rush 
planting stuff in the ground because you kind of only do it once for that sort of batch of whatever it is you're doing and I got myself one of these foam mats and tell you what it's absolutely it's a bit of a lifesaver to be honest because it's not enough saving knees super organized Graham he's got his plant label which he got free when he got the seeds and I'm just gonna put it in there and there we have it planting seedlings particularly when you're planting stuff that you plan to eat like it really it does nourish the soul if you pardon the pun and if you're anyone like me and sometimes your brain just can't switch off he's got a thousand thoughts everyday life and the hustle and bustle I've got to do this got to get that done now everybody always wants things done straight away but when you get in your vegetable garden you've got some sort of escapism from that and some time to just unwind and plant things like that so I don't know if you haven't got a vegetable garden or you haven't planted anything like this I'd definitely give it a whirl because I came to the allotment plot feeling quite stressed and quite anxious this morning but Having done that job, I can leave and sort of feel ready to take on the rest of the day because I've kind of <sighs> unwound, I guess. Just thought I'd let you know. So there we have it, guys. I've planted some tricolour Jamaican Kalalu. Took about 10 days or so to germinate. I've now put them outside. They take about six to eight weeks to harvest, so I'm expecting around mid September to be harvesting these things. So stay tuned for that video but I hope you've enjoyed my video today definitely leave a comment below um, if you've ever grown Kalalu before um, or anything else that I mentioned in this video I love reading the comments so yeah thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll see you next time